Fashion Sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew in set in sleeves. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. So what is a set in sleeve? Well a sleeve that is separate from the garment and is attached to the armhole here of a garment. So that's a set in sleeve. Here we have a set in sleeve and we need to get from this stage to that stage. And as you can see, this is very flat and this is starting to form a shape. So I'll come back to that one. I'll just take that one out of the way and we'll concentrate on this one. Now, in order to get a fitted sleeve to fit smoothly around the head of the sleeve, we need to do a gathering stitch here. An E stitch really, but it's very similar to a gathering stitch. And if I just turn it over, we need to make sure that we've got our points here. So these are what's on your sewing pattern that you transfer onto your um, fabric. So we've got two small dots here, and that is where the actual E stitch starts and ends. And this red circle here, that is where it's going to be aligned on the shoulder of the actual garment that you're making. So I'll just show you how I'm going to this pull that stitching. And it's just like gathering stitch, it's, that's, that's all you're doing. You do, you're just making sure that so that's what you need to do and then pull the other end. And there you've got your shape. Now it's starting to look like the other one. Okay, this is the bodice of the armhole and this is the sleeve. Now um, I've done my uh, pattern markings in colour so we've got the green dots on the bodice and the green dots on the sleeve and that is the indication for the e-stitching so you'd make sure you marrow those up and then I've got a red one here which is the shoulder seam which will be matched up to the circle on your actual sleeve and then you just uh, match up your sleeve seams and then um, have we got here are our notches and balance marks so you've got the front and the back now you need to make sure that you're working with your work right side to right side okay so it's on the right side of the bodice right side of the sleeve and then have that we go into match up all our pattern markings and once I've done that I'll come back to you. I've pinned the lower part of the sleeve and now we're going to concentrate on the head of the sleeve and this is where the E stitch is. Now I'm going to be matching up the green small dots which are the pattern markings that's indicating where I need to start my E stitch and I do the same for the other side. Do excuse my hand for a moment. Put that one there. And then I'm going to be matching up that is the seam of the actual garment with the red circle that's on my sleeve. And that is telling me it's a straight grain on the sleeve that's been matched up to the shoulder seam. And then what you need to do is is to make sure you evenly distribute all this fullness into the sleeve armhole like so and then once you've done that you'd be ready for basting now I've actually started a bit of basting here so I'm going to pin and I'm going to baste all the way around and then come back to you and then take it to the sewing machine I'm ready to sew my uh, sleeve to the armhole and we need to make sure we're working on the inside of the sleeve. So we're starting at the sleeve seam. So we'll just get that under my foot here, feet down. Now you have to bear with me because my, my husband's um, kind of in my way so I can do my best to make sure that I don't get any puckering. Stitch. And then what you're going to do is sew all the way around to where you started. So 
that I'm going to just up my stitching a little bit just so that it won't take me as long and you get a, a better viewing. Right, I've just passed my uh, notches there, balance marks. Call them. Right, so I've to my first dot there, so this is where the easing starts to happen. Right, and just make sure, just keep checking under now and again that you know you're not creating any pluckering whatsoever, and also you're not having any on the sleeve as well. There's one there, so I'm gonna try my best to kind of like help my work along. large circle so now plus past the shoulder seam and just making sure that get no puckering. I'm also at a very awkward angle as well because of the filming but I'm getting there so hopefully checking underneath and then we're coming to area where there is no easing to be done as such and passing the front notch all the way around to where I started which is the sleeve seam and I'll just do a quick stitch in there and then my work comes out but before you actually do sew your sleeve to your armor, do try it on first. I would highly recommend that. And let's see how I've done. Now I'm going to have to remove the basting stitch, of course. But no, I think that's pretty much. That's just showing you where I've lined it up. I don't mind that showing so that you get a better understanding of. Yeah. So what I'll do is, I'll remove the basting stitch and then I'll show you the next step. Now the next step is, is to do another row of stitching, which is a middle one here. And that is to strengthen the underarm seam. I'm just going to take my blue marker and just show, just to show you what I've done. So, around. So that is what you'd actually be doing as the final stitching to your work. So remember the first one is day stitching. This is the stitch that I did to attach the sleeve to the armor. And the third one, which is this blue marker showing you now, is what you call the stitching that you need to do just to secure the work and make that seam actually a bit stronger. And then once you've done that, you need to then snip into it. So just bear with me, starting from the, about every, two centimeters about an inch just to don't cut into the stitch remember the middle one don't cut into it just do it several times all the way around just to release the tension of the fabric and you get more movement in the garment so it doesn't feel awkward and one more there and then what you could actually do if you wish is just trim a little bit away now let's have a look to see if I've got any puckering happening on my sleeve head. No, that's excellent. So my, you may just see the green marker just there and the top there, there's none there. And yeah, brilliant, none whatsoever. So I'll give it a gentle press and then that's what you call a setting sleeve. Here we have the finished sleeve, set in sleeve, set into an armhole of a bodice I'm working with. Um, the gathering or the easing that goes into the head of the sleeve will depend from garment to garment. So you may find that if you're working with a jacket that there's a bit more gathering or a coat, a bit more easing in which to do. But the procedure is more or less exactly the same. Now if you are a beginner I would actually recommend that you um, do it a couple of times just to get used to um, the different kind of uh, ways in which to actually do the setting in of the sleeve and it does take practice, it took me a long time to um, actually acquire it 
But before I actually finish my video, I must stress that if you do find that your sleeve isn't hanging well and um, you've sewn it in beautifully, it's all about the grain line. So no matter how beautifully you've sewn it in, if it's not swinging too back or it's swinging too forward, it's because you haven't put it on the straight grain of your fabric. And no matter what you do when it comes to sewing, that won't um, alter the, the problem. It really means you have to go back and cut your sleeve pattern out again. Okay, that said, um, I'd like to say if you have any comments whatsoever, please do um, put them in the comment box below and I'll see you in my next video.